Being a beginner in a language is fun for exactly 16 days. After that, you realize that you can't really understand anything and the things that you thought were gonna be really fun once you started learning that language, you still can't really do after 16 days. Around that time, the initial spark, the initial motivation that you have also starts to fade because you realize that the grammar forms that you thought were really fun and new and exciting are suddenly really complicated and a hassle to remember. That is kind of the stage I'm currently in with my Korean, even though obviously I've been studying for a bit longer than 16 days by now. And I know I was supposed to upload a three month update last week, but there's not too much that changed. And really I just started to learn grammar, which has helped so much, but I don't think it's easy to show how much that is helping. So instead of filming a random language update where I can't exactly show a lot because I still am a beginner, I figured it would be more fun to show you what I'm currently doing to leave the annoying beginner stage behind me as fast as possible. So this is my current Korean study routine and I think it is really effective to get you from a point where you don't know anything to a point where you can actually understand things and start reading and watching before we jump into the routine though, I think it is important to understand why it is the way it is. And in order to understand that, let's think about some of the problems that beginners have and how to fix them. I think as a beginner you have a whole bunch of problems because you are literally just starting out and it's totally okay to be overwhelmed at first. But obviously we want to solve these problems in order to progress. So if you are really, really just starting out, then obviously learning the script is super important. Now, I've already learned the script, so I'm gonna skip that step. But if you haven't learned the script yet, then go ahead and learn the script so that you can read what is actually being written on websites, vocabulary cards, and so on. The next problem that beginners have is that they don't know any words. Not knowing any words is a problem because if you don't know any words, you can't understand anything. You're literally useless without words. Even more than grammar, words are really, really important. Personally, as a beginner, I think there are two methods of going about it and learning words. One of which is obviously Anki or Memrise, Quizlet, whatever flashcard app that you prefer. And downloading a 1K, 2K, 5K, 10K, whatever it is, common word deck and start learning words every single day. I'm unfortunately not the biggest Anki fan, but I have used it for the first two months. I just haven't used it this last month, but that is partly because I realized that the way I was using it is incorrect. And I'll get back to that in just a second, but before that, let's move on to the second problem that beginners have, and that is they don't know anything about the structure of the language. Something that we refer to as grammar is really important so that we understand what connection the words have with each other. Even if you learn a language that is super similar to your native language, you can't know that the grammar is similar or where the differences are until someone tells you or you learn about it. When I started Spanish, for example, I obviously could not know whether there was grammatical gender in the language or if verbs conjugated the same way they do in German or maybe like in Japanese. So until you study these things, you can't know if they are similar or really different to your native language or other languages that you speak. And with that being said, you might already have guessed the solution to this problem and that is just studying the grammar so that you get a feeling for what is similar or what is different. And here's where I'll get back to what I just said about using Anki incorrectly. I would learn so many words on Anki, but I wouldn't do any grammar study for about the first six weeks of my studying. And so even though I knew what the words meant, I could generally recognize them, I didn't understand how they were connected to each other. And for the Refold 1K Korean deck, I didn't know what all those verb forms meant and what their conjugations meant. And so it was really hard for me to remember the words because they just seemed randomly conjugated in ways that I couldn't understand. Okay, and then a third problem that a lot of beginners might have if they are learning their first language 
is motivation or forming habits and a routine that is actually gonna work for them. It is so important to be consistent and setting aside some time every day or every other day to learn the language because if you're only gonna study an hour a week, you're not gonna make the progress that you want to be making. As a rule of thumb, I would suggest at least 30 minutes every single day so that you can make sure to make progress. Obviously, the more time you put in, the faster the progress will be. So someone studying two hours a day will be slightly faster than someone just studying an hour a day. The other thing about motivation is that if you don't get these small wins and you just keep grinding and grinding but you don't see any results, then that can be pretty disheartening. And I feel like a lot of people lose motivation because they don't get these small wins. They get discouraged about whether they actually make progress or not. Because generally speaking, the first few weeks of someone learning a language are gonna be this huge increase in vocabulary and learning so many new things compared to when they didn't know anything. But after that, every single next word doesn't feel like this huge progress anymore. And that can be quite discouraging. Okay, with that in mind, I created this routine to learn words, learn the grammar, stay consistent and motivated to leave that beginner stage behind as fast as possible. I try to study three to four times a week, so I'll have one day pause, one day study, one day pause, one day study, so that I don't skip too many days not studying, so that I can make sure to retain the information well. Each of my study sessions is between one to two hours and I make sure to do some grammar study and some reading during that time. I think generally speaking for study routines for beginners, you should try to split your time in a way that vocabulary as in Anki or whatever other app you use makes a tiny portion of your whole study time. Then grammar study should be about twice or three times as much. And then reading should be the same, if not more, than grammar study. That way you can ensure that you learn the grammar and you learn words, but your Anki time doesn't take up too much of your total study time. Because let's be real, Anki is not the most exciting way. It helps you kickstart your comprehension in the beginning. But after that, there's honestly better ways to start learning words. And then reading just ties everything together. You make sure to learn words and you see the grammar in context, reinforcing what you learned. You might have noticed that I didn't really mention listening practice. And I don't think that listening practice has too many benefits as a beginner. Therefore, it should not take up too much of your study time. If you feel like watching a YouTube video or watching a show, that is perfectly fine but it should not be the main focus of your beginner study routine. At first, I would just do my Anki every day and watch something and I do not recommend you do that. I recommend you to start learning your words and at the same time or with a slight delay of a few days, start learning grammar as well. You can if you want to start immersing and try to train your listening comprehension, but there's honestly not too much benefit to that. For the first while, I would use this German book about learning Korean and it was okay, but it was pretty superficial and it didn't teach me too many things. Then I started using the Talk to Me in Korean website, which I found to be pretty comprehensive. They break it down into really, really small chunks, only teaching you one grammar thing at the time. And they provide a whole bunch of example sentences, which I think is really great to really see the grammar used in a real sentence. You can of course buy their textbooks, but I personally didn't find that necessary just yet. So I'm just using the free website. Then after I'm done with my grammar studies, I will go over to Link and try to read a little bit. That process was really frustrating in the beginning because obviously I didn't know many words and I still don't know many words. And I didn't know any grammar either. So reading was pretty hard, but it does get easier pretty quickly. If you don't know what Link is, then I suggest you check out my Link guide that me and my boyfriend created to spread the word of Link because I honestly think it is such a good resource. Link is also the only thing about this routine that's not free, but I totally think it's worth its price. 
I usually get tired of reading pretty fast because my brain is working so hard trying to understand what's going on, but that is perfectly okay. As you can see, my study routine is something between 60% grammar studies and 40% reading, which I think is a perfectly fine split. Now, if I was to add Anki, I would probably do a little less grammar and a little more Anki, but I try to keep it not more than 10 to 15 minutes a day. Sometimes right after my study session, sometimes in the evening, I will go to YouTube and then find a video to watch, trying to really focus on the words that I'm hearing. And I love videos that have subtitles so I can read along and maybe pick out a few words that I've already learned. This is by no means a regular thing though. I think maybe I watch YouTube about two times a week, if at all, and I don't spend hours and hours watching it. It's usually more like two to three videos and that's it. My main goal right now really is just getting in those words. That is why I'll also start Anki again, or at least I'll try to stick with it. And learning my grammar. I think I'll stop my grammar studies once I've moved through level four or five of talk to me in korean and that is when i'll switch to reading more complex stuff complex as in not graded readers and maybe stories that are slightly longer or longer than what i'm currently reading and i will also start listening more i think that is about the time you transition into being an intermediate speaker or user or learner of that language rather than a beginner but right now I don't think there is any point in doing these things because of all the things that I mentioned throughout this video. Let me know what you think of the study routine. Would you add anything? Would you do less of some things that I said? And feel free to share your study routine in the comments down below. I would love to be inspired by what you have to say about it.